<laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, space cadets. Welcome to another episode of Nerd Portal, where we teleport you guys into the world of pop culture and current events. I'm Sierra Caballero. And I'm Alex Thompson. Let's get pop cultured. Oh. You smell it? Yeah. Is there like Did a... Did you fart? No. Is there like a leaky pipe? Maybe? Uh, mm. Rain? It's not raining outside. Uh, smells like, like steam? Yeah, it smells Should like steam. Should I leave the oven on? Yeah, maybe. No? No. No, it smells like, meh. It smells like valve. Ew. Yeah, it's a valve. Yeah. Anyways, mm. for the past year and a half, the writers have been leaving. This actually smells quite lovely. Yeah, I know. I have a feeling that I wonder one of those. Oh. Huh, what do you know? But anyways, besides her, her puns, um, it started with Mark Laidlaw back in January of 2016, stating he needed a break from the collaborative chaos of game production. Also, that he was also just feeling old and wanted to go back to his roots, uh, you know, writing books. Writing books, yeah. yeah. Anyways, next, Eric Wolpow. That's a fun That's name. A cool that name. is a fun name. Whoa, and how? Chet Felicek. Felicek? Felicek. There's hard names all on this one. Left within months of each other this year. So, wanting to work on other products, projects was their idea of what, yeah. why they left and everything. Now, this is just weird. Now it's just like a coincidence. Now, Jay Pinkerton, co writer for the Portal series and Team Fortress 2 comics, has left too. What? Yeah, so, it's, things are starting to lie. Maybe that's what stinks, yeah, right? But, yeah, but why? Okay, the question comes up, why? Why but are why? all these writers leaving? Do you know why? Because it's the stink. Maybe, yeah. Well, Valve hasn't developed a single player story-based game for six years, favoring multiplayer, yeah. okay? Like games like um, DOTA 2 and Counter-Strike, Global Offensive. It's sad to see that a game developer who were once praised for their storytelling have lost their main writers. So, you know, I, I mean, I think that kind of hits the nail on the head when you're not doing story-driven games Aww, anymore. Yeah. You know, it's like, that's, what are these guys doing? They're probably just hanging out. I mean, it's such a bummer. Collect paychecks, sit there. Yeah. Can you imagine for six years, just like, okay, like. So we, what's next, guys? Are we gonna do a story-driven game again? Okay. No, we're gonna do another Counter Strike. Dang it! Can we add a story to it? No. No. Online only, no one player mode. Can I make up my own story? No. no. Can it be rhetorical? No. Rhetorical, you can't answer the question. No. Exactly. No. You really keep it to yourself. Yeah. And that is how things work at Valve. It's all no. rhetorical. No. Well, speaking of Pride Month, the Canadian lesbian vampire web series Carmilla, which you may have heard of it um, on the YouTube channel Kinda TV, has gained a cult following since its release in 2014 and the series wrapped after three seasons. But this year, Carmilla is returning for a full length film. Ooh, isn't that so cool that you can get big on YouTube and then yeah. get a movie? Yeah, it's yeah. It, the show I thought was really interesting because it sort of has one like a single shot the entire um, the entire show. So it's sort of like watching a play in a sense. It's really interesting, and I think it's really smart because they can do a lot more because it kind of saves on mm -hmm. budget and all of that. But they did it really creatively, and I enjoy the show. You guys enjoy the show, and I'm sure you guys are excited for the film. But the series is based off of the classic 19th century gothic vampire novella of the same name. And the original cast, including Elsie Bauman and Natasha Nigavonlis, will return and the film is slated to release fall of this year. So, get prepared. And it's going straight to digital and you can choose your own package, which is really exciting. They have so many cool goodies for you, all the fans of Carmilla. I mean, and it's a hope for everyone out there, too. If you have a YouTube show, it could be turned into a movie. Could wink, be. Wink. 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 
blank. Right. But yeah, check out the trailer. It's incredible. And I'm, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. I don't think they're gonna do the, the typical point and shoot, like, you know, standalone, you know, like the, the way that the original series went. I think they're actually gonna do kind of more movement, like more like varied shots, but we'll see. Maybe they'll reference it a few times in there. Well, that's it for this week's headlines for your nerdy minds. Be sure to check out popnerdtv.com for articles, reviews, and more. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to the Pop Nerd TV channel on YouTube and check out our Patreon for even more content. There's more stuff on there. Yes. I'm Alex Thompson. And I'm Sierra Caballero. We'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.